An online media outlet Mindele published a list of the victims from Itaewon crowd crush and was criticized by other media and both main political parties. The names of the victims were disclosed without any personal information such as age, gender, and address. As of the reason Mindele decided to disclose the list, they argued that the victims needed to be remembered and that referring to their death merely by the number would only conceptualize their death without urging the investigations of the case forward. They also made a reference to foreign media outlets like New York Times and Washington Post disclosing the identities of the victims in their articles and how Korean media also used to make the identities of the victims public in the past with even more personal information. Mindele was not alone in disclosing the names of the victims either. Catholic Priest Association for Justice in Korea also called out the names of the victims during the memorial mass. However, Min Byun, lawyers for a democratic society, showed deep concerns for the disclosure of the list without the bereaved family's consent, saying that everyone is entitled to right to privacy under constitution and international human rights law. Justice Minister Han Dong-un said disclosing the victim's list without the consent of bereaved family is like inflicting wounds in their pains and that it could also have serious legal consequences in terms of rights to privacy. In the end, Mindele expressed sincere apology to the bereaved families. However, they stood by their philosophy and kept the list available on their website with 10 names down as requested by the families. As of November 15th, the media outlet is sued by a Seoul Metropolitan Council member for violating rights to privacy.